That's so bright. <laughs> oh, hey, Charlie. That was like a little magic trick. I didn't even know you were there. What's up, buddy? Okay, I do want you guys to know that at some point in this video, we will cover how to make uh, like sandblasted glass out of a beer bottle. Just stick around. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. I just woke up. That's why my voice is like, no. So today's video, I've been like struggling because I'm struggling. Like, I was like, I don't know if I should do story time or like some sort of DIY. Damn. Just combine the two, do a story time and a DIY, and magic. I'm gonna share with you guys a quick story, and then I wanna show you how this is made. I think this was once a wine bottle that was just kinda cut and then sanded, and it was like, where to begin? Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> That's where most stories should start. So two weeks ago, I got an email saying, Hi, Dan, uh, we're going to Northwest Territories. We'd like to know if you'd like to join us. Okay, sick. That's from the people at Samsung. None of this video is sponsored, so if I mention a brand or a name, that's pretty much just free promo for them. I'm just gonna say that right now. Anyways, Samsung. <laughs> no, seriously, it's not sponsored. But they brought me out to Northwest Territories. Now, a lot of you guys are like, where the f is Northwest Territories? I know where that is. I'm educated. It's like very northern Canada. Now, this was the perfect time to go there. I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. People of Northwest Territories are the nicest in Canada that I've personally ever met. I'm telling you, they were so cool. The first excursion we went on, we went on this boat on Great Slave Lake. It's like a ladder to the roof of the boat, and I'm like, <laughs> Yo, can I go? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. That's like a new alter ego. Let's stick with it. So I was like, yo, yo, can I go up on the roof? And the guy was like, hell yeah, just wear a life jacket. I forgot to wear a life jacket. And he was like, you having fun? <laughs> like, he wasn't on my ass to wear a life jacket. I was up there. It was super cool. Here's a quick clip of that. Okay, so we're at the fishing experience, which is like, we're going out on this lake, which apparently is like the ninth biggest lake in North America. What's cool about it is we can actually go on the roof up there. I'm gonna try to do it. There's no like guardrails or anything, but I'm a fisherman, so like whatever. This is James Hacksmith. He was responsible for the Captain America shield that like, you know, like had like magnets and like would come to him and stuff like that. That's this guy. Wait, wait, hold on. You could lock me in here and just realize it's just a bucket. That's embarrassing. If I have to drop it dirty, everyone's gonna know it's me and they're gonna see it. Great. Okay, heading back now. Unfortunately, I didn't catch any fish, but it was still fun to fish. That was a fun experience, nevertheless. If you guys don't know, here's a quick drone shot of pretty much all of Yellowknife. There was like a marina, they had houseboats, so you guys see here, there's like houseboats. Flew it over downtown. Right when I did, like the sun came out. It was so awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much Yellowknife. Now this is where the story starts. We get back to the hotel after eating dinner, and somebody from Samsung was like, Hey guys, we're being picked up at 11.45, okay? And I'm just like, <clears throat> Sorry, what? 11.45? That's right, we're going to see the Northern Lights. It's gonna be great. So then I go to the lobby and we hop on this bus. So I'm like, yo, backseat, because backseat's the bumpiest. Yo, cool kids in the back. What a mistake that was. I didn't realize that the last time the roads were paved in Yellowknife was like in 1600s. Here's a visual demonstration, okay? So we're like on the bus, and we're like, whoa! <laughs> what, that was sick, yeah, that was fun. Oh, okay, okay, let's just get there, let's get there. Whoa! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> These, no seatbelts in here or what? Okay. Okay. Okay, just be cool, man. Just be cool. All the cool kids sit in the back, right? Yeah, that, that eighth grade mentality still applies, right? I saw from the front of the bus this mass. Oh my god. It was like the Grand Canyon in the road. I was just like. Now that was a little exaggerated, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I know I'm a good actor. I thought I was gonna lose my tailbone. We went like 30 minutes. There was no city light pollution, so it was like the darkest that mother nature can pretty much get. Also the bus starts to slow down. And I'm like, oh, this is weird. Like, is there a problem with the bus? Like, why, what, what, are we, what are we slowing down for? I mean, it was probably gonna make the potholes even worse if we're going at this speed. I don't actually, I don't know the logistics of gravity, but so the door opens, lady stands up. Okay guys, we're here. Oh, what, do you, what do you mean we're here? We're in like the middle of nowhere in this side street. Yep, we're here. Okay, Dan, just make a fist. Uh, if anybody comes at you, just scream. <laughs> that's, that's my mentality to fighting, it's just ah! <laughs> We get off the bus and all of a sudden we hear from the woods, like sticks breaking, like this guy comes out of the woods and goes, I'm gonna need you guys to follow me. Except it wasn't that creepy, it was more like, what's up guys, I need you to follow me. Honest to God, he takes us through this like bush, 
And like we're, we're like literally we're like in the forest now. Here's some video footage. All of a sudden there's this cabin in the woods. And he goes, <clears throat> we're here. And I'm like, great. We get there, he turns on his generator, and bam, he's got this little cabin in the woods made us like hot chocolate, tea, coffee, I think. But I'm not a coffee guy. Like one sip of coffee and I'm just like. I'm like super jittery, it's nuts. And we go out to see the Northern Lights, and guys, I don't know how else to tell you this in video, but the Northern Lights, it's, I need a minute here. And on a very serious note, the Northern Lights are one of the coolest, nicest things I've ever seen like Mother Nature do. It's so weird, it's like somebody snapped a neon tube and just like this neon juice went into the sky. Now we're gonna get to the part that you guys are probably waiting for, how to make this, okay? We had a choice of doing different excursions. So I was like, I wanna go and do sandblasting on glass. At first I'm like, what kind of sexual experience is this gonna be? <laughs> Just because it had the word blasting. Anyways, we get to this guy's shop and he was the coolest guy. He had this, and this is the world's biggest bicycle rim like dome. So we go into his shop and he gives us a tour. And he takes us through the steps on how to make this. What he did was he first he grabbed the bottle and he put it on this like wheel thing that had a little blade on it. And he spun the bottle and then the blade kind of like cut the glass or like serrated the glass. Down the bottle. And it stripes away. And what he did is he put this like metal ball inside and kind of like dinged it around until it just went and just popped off. So next what you would do is you would take these kind of like foam material and you'd stick it on your glass or bottle. I went with a diamond, which is this guy right here, and I did wings on each side, okay? And you go to this machine that's like a sandblaster, okay? So you put the bottle in and it basically shoots out this high pressure aluminum, like sand aluminum particles at such a high speed that it actually cuts the glass. And you rinse it off. Now I know what you're thinking is like, Dan, I was under the impression that in this video, I could make it at home. Well, you can, they do have like kits that you can make where you take a wine bottle and you can make a cup out of it. Uh, this is just more of the industrial way to do it. So I guess it's more of like a how it's made episode than like a tutorial on how you're gonna do it. So I still am technically showing you how to make this, but this is with the help of a, like a guy's shop. So you guys have it, that was a quick story time as well as like how to make sandblasted beer bottles or glasses. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't because there's gonna be greater, greater videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.